If for some reason you didn't already know, my favorite video game character of all time is undoubtedly Luigi. This green plumber always puts a smile on my face, and is always my go-to whenever I play any Mario game. Even though Luigi hasn't had quite as many games compared to his big brother Mario, the games he does have are oftentimes really fun, and his most popular game series has to be Luigi's Mansion. I absolutely love Luigi's Mansion. It's all about Luigi exploring a bunch of spooky places and hunting down ghosts. It may not seem like much, but it makes for some truly memorable and enjoyable games, and it helped Luigi really stand out as his own character to make him the lovable goofball we all know today. So, with the release of Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, I'm going to rank every Luigi's Mansion game from worst to best. This list will be based on how fun the games are, as well as how much content there is to play around with. So without further ado, let's -a go! 6. Luigi's Mansion Arcade Now, this is an interesting one. I've been to a good handful of arcades in my life, but very rarely do I come across this game in particular. I've actually played it a few times before, and even though it's the weakest game on the list, it's still quite a lot of fun. Luigi's Mansion Arcade is one of those on-rail shooter games, except instead of shooting bad guys, you're sucking up ghosts. You'll travel through three different mansions, all based on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. You have to point at the screen to flash the ghosts, then you suck them up by pulling in the opposite direction. You can also fill up a meter to suck up ghosts faster, and you even have a few stro bombs that let you stun all the ghosts at once. It's honestly a ton of fun, and the amount of ghosts you have to go up against make this game quite intense. As you progress through the game, you'll face off against tougher and tougher ghosts, until eventually going up against a boss at the end of each mansion. Seriously, this game can genuinely be very hard hard, so you have to be on your A-game if you plan to survive for very long. Plus, you can also team up with another player and compete to get the most points. At the end of the day, this is still an arcade game, so the experience is pretty short, but for what it is, Luigi's Mansion Arcade is surprisingly fun and well worth trying if you can find a working machine. 5. Luigi's Mansion 3DS Even to this day, I have no idea why this was made for the 3DS when the Nintendo Switch would have made a lot more sense, but whatever. I'm not going to talk much about the core game, we'll get to that later in the video. Instead, I'm going to talk about the changes this version has compared to the original. Of course, the visuals got a solid upgrade, they look really nice, and I like how Luigi actually looks like Luigi instead of whatever the hell he was in the original. Aside from pretty visuals, you can now use the strobe bulb from the newer games, which I actually prefer over the normal method, and the map can now be viewed from the bottom screen. There's now achievements you can get throughout the game, you can replay boss battles, which you're now ranked on based on how good you did fighting them, and there's a new local co-op mode where another player can join you as Gooigi, one of the best clone characters Nintendo has ever made. Also, Professor Egad apparently learned how to time travel, so that's cool. I guess. All of this stuff sounds really cool, and it definitely is, don't get me wrong, but the main issue I have is the core gameplay. It just feels off. The original Luigi's Mansion was made for the GameCube, so it was designed specifically for the GameCube controller. Playing on the 3DS simply isn't as fun, the circle pad isn't nearly as good as a joystick, and the lack of a second stick makes trying to aim the poltergust a lot more finicky than it was before. The game tries to make up for this by utilizing the 3DS's gyro controls, and while it does help a little, it's just not as good as the original. I also think the atmosphere was a lot better in the original, it felt more legitimately spooky. Overall, this is still a great game that I enjoy playing, but I'd much sooner replay the original. Speaking of which... 4. Luigi's Mansion GameCube, the one that started it all. While I prefer the two sequels that came after it, the original Luigi's Mansion still holds up as a really cool experience. As I alluded to earlier, one of the things that makes it so memorable is the atmosphere. The lighting, the dust effects, all the little details spread throughout every room of this mansion. This place feels legitimately haunted. The mansion is also a ton of fun to explore and uncover secrets. I love the design 
designs of the ghosts, especially the portrait ghosts with actual personalities and backstories. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of Luigi's design in this game, I will admit that a lot of his reactions and facial expressions are really hilarious. In fact, this game in general is where Luigi got a lot of his personality, which we would see in later games. We also got introduced to characters like Professor Egad and King Boo, who would become mainstays in the Mario universe. As for the gameplay, there's not really much to talk about. You go from room to room and suck up ghosts, that's basically it. You'll occasionally get to use these elemental power-ups, which can help you access certain areas and defeat certain types of ghosts. That's kinda neat, but nothing too substantial. Something that is pretty fun though, is trying to collect as much money and treasure as possible, and then at the end of the game, you get to keep your own mansion, which changes based on how much money you collected. I'm not really sure what else to say. It's Luigi's Mansion. It's fun. Even though I definitely prefer the game's sequels as those feel more like complete games, I will always respect the original Luigi's Mansion for not only laying the foundation for this franchise, but for the character of Luigi as a whole. 3. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon This was the very first Luigi's Mansion game I ever played. I remember playing it on my 3DS and loving every second of it, and after replaying it for this video, Dark Moon Moon is still a fantastic game and a worthy sequel to the original. This game takes place in Evershade Valley, a place where ghosts are actually peaceful thanks to the titular Dark Moon. But after a mysterious figure shatters the Dark Moon and causes all the ghosts to go hostile, Luigi must step in to help capture all the ghosts and restore the Dark Moon to save the day. Now, even though I think most fans would say Dark Moon is at the very least a good game, it has been criticized for a few things, most notably the new mission structure. Instead of being able to freely explore one mansion, you explore multiple mansions and have to complete certain objectives before eventually getting pulled back to the bunker. A lot of people didn't care for this change, but I actually like it as it offers a different type of fun. After each mission, you get ranked based on how well you did, which adds some replayability as it encourages you to go for a higher score. Plus, Getting to explore different mansions with all sorts of unique themes is really cool and makes for some interesting scenarios for us to play. One thing that is massively improved over the first game is the gameplay. When fighting ghosts, you now use the new stroll bulb to charge up your flashlight and stun any ghosts nearby. Then when you catch them, you can fill up a meter to suck them up faster. It makes the whole ghost hunting process so much more satisfying and fun. On top of catching ghosts, this game focuses a lot more on solving puzzles. This can involve using the new dark light device to uncover hidden objects, or using the environment around you to access new areas. Plus, along with the main adventure mode, there's also Scare Scraper, where you and three other players can work together to catch ghosts as fast as you can. It doesn't work anymore since the 3DS's online was shut down, but it was fun while it lasted. If I had any complaints with this game, the designs of the ghosts, while not bad, are pretty generic and not as good as the first game. Also, yes, EGAD calling you every two minutes gets old quick quickly, even if it does get better as the game goes on. But I can easily look past these flaws. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is still an awesome game, one of the best you can find on the 3DS. 2. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD I was not expecting this game to come back so soon, but hey, I'm not complaining. So, is this game just as good as it was on the 3DS? I guess we should start by talking about the visuals since that was the main thing that was changed. I'm honestly conflicted on how I feel about the game's new graphics. I mean, yes, it technically looks better than the 3DS version with more advanced textures and improved lighting, but at the same time, it keeps a lot of that low polygon art style from the original and it looks off. It was fine on the 3DS because that system couldn't handle more intense graphics, but here it just feels lazy. Another thing I'm conflicted on is the character models. Luigi and Egad's models look really good and have more detail, but the way they emote and express emotion looks really weird, especially Egad with that creepy smile he always has. Also, in my opinion, King Boo actually looks worse than he did before. 
more. They tried to puff out his eyebrows, and it's just not as intimidating as it was on the 3DS. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, the game looks different. Is there anything else new? Um, the cutscenes were tweaked slightly. You can now use the right stick to aim the poltergust, which is actually really nice. Um, the map is now in the right corner of the screen, which isn't as convenient as when it was the bottom screen of the 3DS. I guess because the Switch has a functioning online, you can actually play Scare Scraper, so that technically makes this version better. Yeah, I'm really struggling to find stuff to say. Aside from a few minor tweaks, this is still Luigi's Mansion 2, warts and all. If you played the game on 3DS, you've basically already played it on the Switch. But at the end of the day, this is still a really great game, and being able to play it on a big screen is awesome. I would have liked it if they put in more effort to make it the true, definitive version, but I still enjoy this game regardless. 1. Luigi's Mansion 3. It honestly wasn't even close. Luigi's Mansion 3 is, without a doubt, the definitive Luigi's Mansion experience, and one of my favorite video games of all time. Luigi, Mario, Peach, and the Toads have been invited to this giant hotel, only to find out that it's a trap! So, it's up to Luigi to climb his way up the hotel floors to take down King Boo and save the day. Each floor has its own unique theme to help them stand out. There's your typical hotel stuff like a restaurant and a shopping mall, then there's some absolutely insane floors like a coliseum, a giant pyramid, and even this huge ocean next to a pirate-themed bar. All of these areas are a ton of fun to explore, and each one brings its own set of puzzles for you to solve. Every Every inch of every place you visit is filled with stuff to interact with, and it really makes these places feel alive, which is complemented nicely with how incredible everything looks. Oh yeah, I haven't even brought up the graphics yet. This game's visuals are gorgeous. This is truly one of the best looking games on the Nintendo Switch. And not just that, but the animations and little details spread throughout the whole game is incredible. Once again, the gameplay was improved dramatically over the last game. We have the strobe bulb and dark light device returning from Dark Moon, but we also have a bunch of new features. There's the suction shot that lets you launch a plunger at objects for you to pull down, burst which blows blows away enemies, and my personal favorite, the slam. While sucking up ghosts, filling up the meter now lets you slam ghosts to the ground, which can also harm any ghosts that happen to be nearby. Guigi also makes a comeback, and he is far more useful than he was in the 3DS game, as he's integral to completing a handful of puzzles and a few boss battles. Speaking of bosses, this game also brings back proper character ghosts, and they are a blast to fight. Outside of the main adventure, we have the return of Scare Scraper, which is basically just an expanded version of what we got in Dark Moon, though it did get DLC where you can change Luigi's outfit, and doing so could change the aesthetic of the floor, which is a cute bonus. And alongside that, we have a brand new mode called Scream Park, where up to 8 players locally can battle it out in a bunch of minigames, which also got some DLC. I never got a chance to try Scream Park, I don't know 7 other people that would be willing to play this with me, but it definitely looks like a fun time. Honestly, I could go for hours on how much I love this game, but I'll leave it at this. Luigi's Mansion 3 is a magnificent game, and easily the best Luigi's Mansion of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think the best Luigi's Mansion is, and if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.